If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. We keep getting closer and closer to the summer DLC of GTA Online, whether it's going to be big, small, a map expansion of Liberty City, or an online per movie production DLC with Michael DeSanta. We're still not sure yet, but today I'm going to be recapping everything that we know and why I I think it's going to be some sort of movie production business or sort of like a contract DLC sort of thing that we received last December. Now in the contract DLC, some of the opening missions with Franklin on the golf course, you were hinted at Michael DeSanta still working at the movie studio. He makes that very, very clear and we know Rockstar in the past have always hinted for celebrities or just people showing up in DLCs like the K.O. Perico for example, about how Dr. Dre lost his phone right before getting on the plane to go to K.O. Perico. And then next year the DLC, guess who's in it, Dr. Dre, so that's no secret that Rockstar is hiding that is very common for them to leave things hidden in plain sight and hint towards the next DLC. Now that's probably not going to be the only thing that convinces you or even myself of Michael coming in for the next DLC but we do have a couple more examples of Michael coming in the next DLC or just how it's going to be surrounding the movie studio whether it's going to be a business or just some sort of location that we will be commonly going to. The Vespucci job remixes that released on PS5 and Xbox series definitely gave us some more hints within the codes of the game that resurfaced that added some movie set items here in the code. And in addition to this, an NPC assigned to the movie set scenario uh, between these times in game can also be found. Now he's looking at some tires, rims. Now I don't even think that really matters, but I think he's either accidentally there or shouldn't be exactly seen yet. But for him to be there and in the code is definitely some sort of hint that uh, the movie studio is going to be more active in the upcoming update. As well as Ned Luke, Michael DeSanta's actor in real life, tweeting about it looks like GTA 5's Mike Michael might be coming back to GTA Online. That's definitely no hint with how strict Rockstar is about talking about, you know, keeping things on the down low. They definitely wouldn't have let him do this unless he was allowed to, and I definitely think he was allowed to say something or hint at something, but not get into too much detail quite yet. Thanks again to TezFun2 over on Twitter, always giving us these great inputs, great scoops of details within the Rockstar games, like especially GTA Online. Uh, I don't know where the hell I'd be without them, honestly. But now that we have all the details, all the hints, all the examples, let's talk about some possible concepts of this movie DLC, or just movie production DLC overall. I think I have a few ideas of what it could be, and uh, I would like to share my ideas with you. And of course, you guys are welcome to share your ideas as well in the comments down below. Whether you agree with me, disagree with me, you think I'm an idiot or whatnot, um, it wouldn't be the first time. But let me know down below with a comment what you guys think as well. I think it's going to end up being a brand new business. Michael is going to ask for some help. Hey, do you know anyone that could help me? And then Franklin's going to be like, oh yeah, I know this one guy who's been helping me, you know, steal phones from uh, Dr. Dre. And he's going to give you uh, his number. And then you're going to become in contact with Michael. Now, why he needs help is going to be, I guess, up for grabs. Whether Solomon Richards has passed away because he is very, very old. Even in 2013, in the single player, he was quite old. So so almost 10 years later, he's probably getting close to being on his deathbed or he just needs help or just wants to increase the movie production um, and just make more movies, make more money, period. So I guess you could buy this business for, let's say, $2 million, and then you can start creating movies. Now, you probably wouldn't be able to actually set up a camera and start videotaping things, but what it'd probably be is just more of a passive income business, kind of like the nightclub, where, for example, you buy a warehouse technician and he collects goods for you. Now, in the movie production, maybe you buy a director, or buy, you know, a few cameras, or buy some actors, and the increasingly level actors you gain, the more money in more you know rp you will receive from these movies 
So you buy the most expensive director, you buy the most expensive cameras, you buy the most expensive actors, you will make the most amount of money. Now it probably could take like up to one to two in-game days, for example, to make this movie. And then you'll be um, compensated for your help for, you know, funding the movie and make some money from that. Whether it be a safe in Solomon Richard's office or you'll just be compensated through online, you know, wire transfer. Who knows? But something like that. Now, some of the annoying side missions or supply missions or just missions in general that might come with this might be that, oh, an actor, he needs a special chair to sit in, so you need to collect this chair from wherever it's been stolen, blah, blah, blah. Or like in single player, for example, if you remember the GTA 5 single player missions with Michael, Rocco ends up going kind of AWOL, he's not getting enough money for this movie, so he goes and leaves, and then you get in the big fight with him on the roof with the helicopter and then later on he beats up Solomon Richards and then Michael has to actually go out and kill Rocco now having some issues with actors or directors and you need to set them straight or you know beat them up or you know threaten their family or something you know this is GTA online so a lot of things could happen it could get really goofy or just you know really really fun so I think some of the missions like that wouldn't be too far-fetched considering we've actually already done them within the single player as Michael himself now, the spring and summer DLC of GTA Online always has this tie-in to the winter DLC of GTA Online, like the Diamond Casino update in the summer turned into a heist update in the winter. I think what this is going to be is we're going to get the start of the online production DLC here in the summer, and then maybe in the winter or fall, we'll get a map expansion. Not, maybe not something huge like Liberty City or something like that, but maybe a new filming location that Michael would like to, you know, uh, fund into. So I think a map expansion or something even much bigger to uh, kind of add on to this DLC that we're getting here now in the summer will be happening sometime in the winter. Maybe it's a map expansion, maybe it's a new heist or a, a big new business. Who knows? I don't work for Rockstar. Even everything we've talked about in the past eight minutes, you know, it's all concept. It's all ideas. It's nothing set in stone by Rockstar Games themselves. So uh, let me know what you guys think as well. I think that I'm pretty close. I, actually, I, I have no idea, but... If I were to say, if it was a movie production DLC, it'd be something similar to what I just said. Nothing crazy. You buy directors, you buy actors, and you make little movies passively. You don't actually, you know, film with a camera or anything or go through a script with an actor. That is just something that happens passively, and it's just more passive income in GTA Online that you can do solo, that you don't have to worry about with anyone to do, like the Auto Shop DLC and the Contract DLC. But let me know what you guys think down below. I'm personally excited to get a new GTA Online DLC because it has been already six months, so of course I'm ready for a new DLC. Let me know what you guys think down below. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you stayed till the end. Become a member today on the channel as well, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.